In this video, I'll show you how to import or add SRT subtitle files to a video in VSDC Free Video Editor. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So you need a couple of things. You need VSDC Free Video Editor and this unfortunately is only available on Windows. Number two, you need your video and the subtitle file that you want to add. That is the SRT subtitle file. So I have my video and I have uh, my subtitle files, and I also have VSDC, the free video editor, downloaded and installed. So I'll just open it up. And once I open it up, uh, it's going to create the profiles, whatnot, uh, whatever uh, startup phase it goes through. That's what is going to happen in this particular section. Uh, let's just give it a couple of seconds. And this is possible even for the free video editor, but it's important you check out some few steps that somebody might miss uh, because the import process of subtitles in VSDC free video editor is, is kind of rudimentary. So uh, let's just close this. They just want us to see if we can uh, purchase the pro version for the different things here. Let's just close. So that's an update check. So let's just click on blank project and then you can title the project whatever you want to call it. So let's say we call it something like uh, import SRT. So uh, let's leave everything as it is right here. So just click on finish. There we have our interface for VSDC, the free video editor. And uh, we need to begin by adding an object. So we can just click here, click on video, and then navigate to the folder with the video that you want to import. So click on it and the one that you have subtitles for open. Uh, here we go. Where do you want? Uh, I want it to begin from the CASA position and add a new layer. Click OK. So that's what we're going to do there. Our video is inside uh, the timeline right here. Now it's time to import our SRT subtitle files. So my SRT subtitle files are right here. So I can just use this. Let me just use this. So I'll just come up to object, subtitles, or alternatively, you can click on this particular icon here to add subtitles, click on that. And this uh, opens up a dialog box and you'll navigate to the folder where you want uh, or where you have your subtitles. So I'll just click on this one and you see the supported format at the time of recording this video is just SRT or subrip subtitles. Click on open and we want as well uh, the object position from CASA position because the SRT I'm importing is already timed to the media. So I'll not change anything else there, but the layer position, insert a new layer. This is already selected for us. And then I'll click OK. The number one thing that happens is that you start freaking out right now because nothing has happened. There is no new layer that has been added. Uh, and it is what I mentioned that I find it rudimentary in VSDC to do this. You'll now need to draw a box inside this particular canvas and you'll see this plus sign change on your mouse so you'll need to click where you want your subtitles to be so let's say we want them down here so i'll just click and hold the left click and then drag out my box to where i want it to be so let's release right there we want it to be there and you'll see your subtitles appear here now one thing you'll also notice is that you'll have a new menu right here inside the properties window and it's called the subtitles object settings so you can edit the subtitles the text font text color the background etc but let's just try and play this particular subtitle let's play the video with the recent up so you can see our subtitles right here uh, and uh, because we don't have a background for this then they're not easily visible so we can just go to uh, the background and instead of no, let's say yes. And we have a black background. But now you'll notice that our subtitles are getting cut out. So we'll need to adjust our box. Just move it there. And you'll see how it looks like. Uh, you can just uh, uh, move along. The YouTube interface. It's now easier than before to download. So you'll see the subtitles are doing a left align. So we can do, let's say, a center align so that the subtitles are in the center. And this reflects uh, across the board, I believe. With the recent yes, it does and looks a little bit better. 
vertical alignment we can go for center as well so that we have our subtitles uh, uh, to be vertically aligned at the center that looks good as well so uh, you can see all these features uh, but that's what i'll change for now the one problem i also have with this is that the subtitle imports as one object not different subtitle blocks therefore if you wanted to make adjustments uh, let's say moving adjustments to the subtitles is a little bit tricky to do this uh, because it's more or less of an object that is imported so it needs to be accurately timed and synced to the video that you need the subtitles to be added to so you can just scrub through the timeline to see what it looks like it may or may not update uh, but it's easier probably to play it uh, so that you can it see has uh, what up, it looks uh, like has come with some very very good options because with the new three dots now it, it seems some lines are being cut off my assumption is that some lines are being cut off uh therefore that's why i say it's a little bit rudimentary but if you're working uh, with uh, shorter lines this might really work work best for you and it would be awesome if when scrubbing you can see the change uh, in the subtitles and all that but uh, simply put that is how you can import or, or add srt subtitle files to a video in vsdc free video editor and probably if you wanted to ban the subtitles to the video then what you need to do now if you're satisfied with your results is go to export and then from this section you'll need to set the settings that you want uh, either for pc web etc and once you're satisfied click on export project so that's it from me my name is david i hope this tutorial has been of value to you thanks for watching